Right, quickly going to be making some Rose's Metal Alloy, which is three different metals. Here we have tin, pure tin. And we have lead, that lead shot I made before. And quite a bit of bismuth. We'll be mixing these three metals together and pouring them into this brand new long-ish mould here. It's basically a old solder before they remove the silver, uh, added silver. Good for emergency use. Mould's only up at 24 degrees at the moment. I'll take some readings as that as I go. Of that. Try and get a better focus there. Damn it. Sorry about that. Trying to get a good focus, good image view. Okay, that looks better, I guess. Or is it worse? Oh, there we go. You don't catch any of my hair in this. Mm -hmm. First, I lift them out one at a time. That's lead mixed in with the bismuth. Add the tin. Need to get this quite hot in order to mix it all together quite nicely. As you can see, the lead has some dross upon it. Try and work some of that around. Get it out, if possible. That's scooping out quite easily. So it's a very low melting temperature, about 100 degrees. Rose's metal alloy. This is a new metal, obviously, created from three different metals. Didn't exist, it's not. After heating inside of the mold, we'll see. Mm, it's quite dense, that's the lead. Check the temperature. 170 degrees. Not as hot as usual. 
Robin Rapid, very. Hmm. Interesting. Well, here's the bar finished anyway. Letting it cool. This is my first alloy. There's a bit of dross there. Well, oh, that'll look like it can be picked off. No problem. Very shiny. Definitely looks like solder, does it not? This is composed of 50% bismuth, 25% tin, 25% lead. I'll weigh it once it dries. Cools, I mean. Still in liquid form. As I said, it has a pretty low melting temperature. So, let's give it a few. Put some glue back on. Yes. Looks like it's still in liquid state. It is. Very much so. Quite a bit of dross on the top that'll need to be scraped off. That's not a problem. But it's all risen to the top. See that? Little bits of brown stuff there. And some of the grey bits. Most likely lead corrosion. Still liquid. Taking a while to cool. Let's check the temperature. Later. Hmm. Quite low. Brought in quite quick. Reading from inside. That's how hot the metal is right now. And yet it's still liquid, but 91.8 degrees. Strange. Got a feeling it's because it's so reflective, it's having difficulty getting an accurate reading. Since the mold is over 100 degrees. Still liquid. Hmm. Observe. See when I blow on it, it sort of jiggles. It's taking a while to cool. Appears to have stopped moving. Let's see if we can drop this thing. Drop it by here. So you can see. No, it's still liquid. Only crap. Look at that. Still jiggling about. That's taken a long time to cool. Ultra low melting temperature. Very handy for solder. Mm -hmm. Welding wires together and such. Give it some air. Weird. Only feels not too hot. Strange. Yeah, it's still liquid, is it? Yeah. No. It's 
It looks like probably still a bit gummy in there though. Oh, shiny. Shiny is good. Okay, it should be about dry now. Hopefully it won't snap because it's wet. It's still drying. We'll find out. <laughs> Bit of dross fell out there. I'm having trouble releasing. See that? Stuck in there. Bit of whack. See if I can loosen the thing. Vibration. Hmm. Damn it. It's well stuck in there. Well, let's see if I can release this. Damn. That's wild stuff. Come on. Cracking my tail. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna have to wait for that to cool down more. Even though it's pretty much cool. <sighs> Dang it. Well, I'll free that from the mold and then I'll post the results in the thumbnail. Since it's having quite difficult time releasing this thing as you can see. Kind of surprising since it's lead in there, it's making it quite dense. Oh, no, it's coming off from the end. Here we go. I think it is. Yes, I think so. Yes, it's moving. Hey. Lost my goggles then. Oh. Almost there. Ah, oh, difficult. So fiddly. <sighs> See that? Almost out. Out. Magic sounds. Yay! Least a bit drossy on the top, but quite nice bar still. Ooh. Look at that. Very nice. Well, I'll stamp that. Rosie's metal solder. It's still some imperfections there, as you can see. That's likely from the bismuth, probably needs a little bit more heat. I will do that. But anyway, it's my first alloy. So the next smelting.